Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And in this one is our weekly skin showcase. I have 18 total skins to show you, provided they all work. I know I should check all ahead of time, but I like to kind of shoot from the hip. It, to me, just, it's a little more realistic. I'm not, I'm not a game journalist, I'm a game player. I'm an everyday person, and that's what I want to come across as. So... I also got an improvement, which I'll touch on uh, recently, uh, when I get there, rather. Our first one's come for Volvo, and no, it's not Deadpool. I just happen to really like the skin. So it's it's the skin I'm using for my big Scania. Uh, Scania. <laughs> That's the other profile, Volvo. So our first one here is Apache, and you can see ex it's exactly what it says. Um, what we can assume to be an Apache warrior on top of a horse with a beautiful background and instead of like different things all around it's all kinda like one big uh, mosaic kind the, the sky that runs down into the ground and then the ground continues on into the side skirts and continues on into the front and the two sides are the same and of course the top continues the sky it's rare to be honest to find a um, skin like this which doesn't like put stuff on the top put stuff on the on the um, side skirts you know change up the front things like that it's really rare to find a uh, skin that is a picture and that is exactly what this is this is a picture and it's beautiful I don't know exactly where I would use it, but I know at some point I would find a place and I would actually use it. I think it's a really cool skin. And, you know, the back is the only thing that's different. I realize I forgot to show you. Well, we, again, we can assume to be three Apache warriors sitting on top of their horses with looks like uh, tomahawk and spear raised on two of them while another one kind of looks down uh, at whatever they're looking at. But again, it's just, it's a really beautiful skin. Um, and there's really not much more to say about it. It's a beautiful skin, and I would recommend it uh, if you're looking for something to turn your truck into a mobile painting. It's just really pretty. Our next one here, as you can see, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yes. Uh, this is, I believe, the Terrace. I played the original Counter-Strike. I never got into... Uh, Global Offensive. Um, I play Counter Strike, uh, Counter Strike Source. Um, I believe this is the Terrace. It's looking like the um, God I almost said M16, but it's an AK-47, I believe, with a long mag on it. Looks like I could be wrong. Um, but anyways, he's on the driver's side. Now this is how you do a side skirt if you're going to put a smaller logo on it. He pushed it up ahead of the opening where the exhaust might be down here or whatever this is for. Um, so you have the whole thing and it's not cut off. And you can see CSGO with their logo. On the back it is just flat black. And on the side you see he actually went different because there's no big hole here. He actually went between the two. And actually has Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It has the full thing here with, uh, the, of course, the logo in the middle. And on this side, you have the counter terrace with, uh, I believe, to be an M16. Uh, the top is clear and the front is clear, as you can see. But it's a really nice skin, and you can tell that as simple as it is, there is some thought put into it. It's not just something slapped together. Um, the two guys are placed below where anything would be cut off so you can get the full picture on both sides it gets cut off a little bit but not too much and even then i don't think it's quite cut off i think it just goes into the indented area there and then on this side he put a shortened version so it doesn't get cut off by this hole over here and on the other side he put the long version which i think having the two different ones is really cool so the person that created the skin actually put thought into it. He didn't just, just slap it up on there and say, look what I made. He actually put some thought into it and said, I can fit this in between these two um, side markers. And over here, i got to deal with this hole, so I'll just put the abbreviation over here. I think it looks really, really cool. 
So that's two. Our next one is for the Scania R. And, well, I'm already spoiling it because I forgot to change it. But let's take a look. Yes, Dirty Harry. Now, this is the actual upgrade I talked about, in all due honesty. What I did here is I got tired of this section being cut off in skins because it won't paint over. So I actually turned on my Mega Store for this profile. And that's going to allow me to um, show you the full skin. Because quite frankly, it was getting really annoying with that big section. It would cut off really important parts. And as you can see here, it actually cut off Dirty Harry's face. So that sucked. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go turn it on. And actually, I forgot to do something. So let me do this real quick. And you can see all the things you see the Mega Store came on there. But we need our, um, our side skirts. All right. So this, again, is a really, really good skin. Uh, of course, it's Dirty Harry. Uh, and you can see the 44 Magnum in his hand. And the uh, Fox bullet holes all over the truck. And then, of course, Dirty Harry up here. And the representation of the 44 on the side. The gun gets cut off very slightly in the window, but it really doesn't detract from it. And on the back, you have the more classic black and white uh, Dirty Harry uh, again, with the fox bullet holes, and the gun is uh, raised up uh, well into the foreground. That's a really nice picture on the back. And then on the side, you get the same. It's reversed. Um, so they're same, same, just facing a little differently. The top is uh, clear, just colorized into a darker purple. And on the front, it says Harry Callahan, which, of course, was Dirty Harry's name. Um... I think it's a real interesting color choice. It's one of the things that stood out to me on this skin, if I'm to be 100% honest. One of the things that really stood out to me on this skin was the color choice. It's purple and brown. You wouldn't think that would be something that would be attractive, but if you really look at it, it really does look good on the truck. With the brown uh, lower part and then the purple in the upper part. Plus you have Dirty Harry on it. And then you even have the black grill up front. Although the grill may be able to be painted. I actually should go and check the different grills and see about that. I'll do that one well, in a moment, actually. Now, you do face the little problem here, but only one little bullet uh, hole gets cut off here. The rest are fine. So it looks really good. And again, the, the choice of skin color, man, the, the purple and brown is just um, truly amazing to me. Uh, all right, normal. I don't know if normal, you see there's plastic black, normal, and then paintable. And I don't know if paintable is supposed to be, you see the gray doesn't look right, if I'm just to be straight. Uh, quick paint job, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, that, so, actually we can just quit out, and I'll put the Dirty Harry skin back, so, uh, back to it real quick, I would definitely look into the skin, uh, if you're even remotely a Dirty Harry fan, even if you're not, it's a good skin to tool around in, take some screenshots on, upload them, I think they'd be really, really awesome. So I definitely would uh, recommend looking into it. Our next one, believe it or not, that's 2-3, all right, is for the Mercedes. I actually think I have a couple for this. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a real simple skin, black curves. Now, I think this looks really cool. And again, you know me, and you know I kind of like abstract, and this is definitely abstract. And on top of that, uh, it's not often you find somebody that goes, I mean, yes, they did go black, but going with a bright yellow truck, it can be a risk. And going with the yellow here really actually works really, really well. Uh, it's almost looking like a tiger stripe, you know, except you're not orange or yellow. Uh, and I just think that makes it look badass. It works for the color scheme. It works for the truck. You can see the front here. It almost looks like it's a purposely drawn out symbol. It almost looks spider-ish up front. You know, it almost looks a little bit spider-ish to me. 
And then the top is just lines going through, and you see you get the black um, foil up on top. And then the lines on, on the sides, they're basically the same. Uh, but I think it's a really nice skin. Um, the, yeah, the back is just plain. I think it's a really nice skin, really nice kind of abstract skin, really stands out. Uh, something I would definitely use if I was driving Mercedes, and uh, I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's a Mercedes fan. So that's four, and our final one comes with, yes, the Scania R, and this is a real simple one, simple black and red. And that's exactly what it is. You know, it's kind of hard to go wrong with black and red. Black and red go together like peanut butter and jelly. You know, um, they just complement each other perfectly. Uh, so it's got that going for it. But that doesn't mean that this is an easy out skin. This actually has some real thought behind it. And you can see by looking into it. And, you know, the black and red just enhances that. Such as the Scania uh, symbol on the side here, the mascot, the griffin i believe it is and then you even have this dark black area and you have a red stripe just going right through it and then it's red highlighted up in here up in top it's all black with a you know down the middle being red on the side you know you get red filled in red filled in and then red outline with a little bit of black into it on the back nice scania symbol black up top slowly fading down into bright red the two sides are the same I actually kind of like the front with the black fading down into red. And then you can see, even see there's some faded black in here as well. And then up the top, black on a red background that's slowly fading into black. And you have and red that's going into a black background. Man, it's really hard to go wrong with this. This is an awesome color. And I would highly recommend it for anyone that does drive the Scania R. I mean, this really walks the line of classy and badass perfectly. So if you get a chance uh, at all, I would just really, really, really recommend using this black and red skin. It's pretty awesome. All right, with that being said, we need to transition to our next skins. And we are back, and we have our next set of skins. And let us start, of course, with the big Volvo F8, shall we? And it's right up the top here. Ta-da! Now, this is my childhood, even though this, is, I believe, is called Menu Geyser or Menu Gar or something of that nature. I can't pronounce it because I don't speak Japanese. But when it was when it came and was translated to America, it was called Transor Z. And I used to watch it as a kid. Who didn't watch the giant robot cartoons as a kid? Uh, Force Five, uh, which of course had like you know Guy King, Grandizer, um, Star Avengers, and all that. Um, Transor Z was kind of a little bit late in coming but still came in plenty of time for my childhood just com compared to other shows at least to america it was a little late in coming so you have the big uh robot here uh right on the side and he looks a little different than the american version or at least the version that we got uh, of the cartoon i believe which he changed where he was a little bit more um uh, broad in the shoulders and kind of narrowed down a little bit more as he got to his hips and legs and um, I don't know if his big chest wings uh, branched at the end or if they just came straight out in a big V um, but otherwise looking pretty close to the same uh, this is a little bit closer to the face I know as you see here the face actually matches uh, the, the rest of the color. But this is the one I remember a little bit more with the silver. And this is the hovercraft that used to link in with the pilot, whose name I long forget. Uh, but he used to link in here, and that was how they would actually power the robot. And you can actually see here a much closer view up of a much meaner looking uh, robot. And um, you can see the, the fins don't bend quite as much. I think this is what I remember a little bit more. And you see the hovercraft, and you can 
almost you know make out the pilot sitting in there the two sides are of course the same the front is just plain out white which is a little bit weird because you know you're just cutting it off right here just zoop, and that makes it look a little bit weird in the front but it's still pretty good and then up top you actually have the female bot who um at least in the american version was totally useless <laughs> She was the one that got sent out uh, to basically stall the monster, whatever monster came along. And, uh, um, of course, would, you know, just get her butt kicked thoroughly every time or be just completely useless. And uh, the, <laughs> the one thing everyone probably remembers that ever watched the show is she basically had uh, two weapons... And the only reason she had two weapons is because they came in pairs and they were boob missiles. <laughs> the little look my wife just gave me. Hey, it's Japanese cartoon. That's all I gotta tell you. That's, that's all I gotta tell you. It was Japanese cartoons, okay? The funny thing is, is that there were a couple shows where they actually upgraded her, where she could have multiple missiles, and they actually even made a newer version of her, where she could fire a laser from her forehead, but she was still completely useless, well, even cool. after, even after the upgrade, and they only had those for like one episode each, and then she went back to the standard female robot, so, <laughs> yeah, there was... I don't quite understand that, and I don't know that I ever will understand it. Um, as a kid, I thought boob missiles were hilarious. <laughs> but, she, of course, uh, that's just getting nostalgic. It's a, it's a decently done skin. The only thing I don't like is the cut-off. I mean, it's just flat cut, right? You see, look like, you know, you just stuck the picture on the side, but... I still like it, and it's definitely a little bit nostalgia for me. And and if you ever go into Giant Robots, I'd definitely uh, give it a look. All right, our next one, of course. You know, I feel... Oh, no, sorry. Actually, our next one's a backwards. I feel sorry for the F-16 Classic. Ever since the FH came out, man, this has just fallen into obscurity. This used to be fighting with Scania for a position of the most popular truck. It got tons of skins. The Volvo FH comes out. Everybody's all over the Volvo FH. Oh, this Volvo's awesome. It's amazing. It's, it's you know, all the Vol all, like almost all the Volvo loyalists jump to the Volvo FH. Scania has a Scania Streamline come out, and everybody stayed with the Scania R. Very few people actually use the Scania Streamline, and actually gets very few skins. As a matter of fact, the Scania R700, which is a modded in truck, is far more popular than the Streamline. Although Scania R, the 2009 truck, remains the most popular truck in the game. I don't get it. But our next one is actually for the Man Truck. Probably one of the trucks to get... I don't know. I, I would think it might get the least love other than the Renaults. But uh, either way, actually, it's a very simple but really good-looking skin. And that's TGX V8 Manpower. Um, I don't know if this is a company skin. It certainly does look like it, but it's very, very simple. With black and yellow, it seems to be becoming a running theme on this uh, video. But black and yellow, you can see here, uh, it cuts down hors uh, cuts down vertically rather at an angle um, on the truck, of course, on both sides. You got the TGX up top with the V8, and then TGX V8 manpower in the front, and the black front with the yellow striping in, uh, down the bottom here, and of course the top is black with the yellow fin, and then the very back of the cap's just solid black back there. It's a really well done skin for something that's very very simple you know and um it's really rare to see a man skin come down and oh yeah you also have the black side skirts i forgot to mention the side skirts are done in black as well um i think it'd have been interesting if they had actually like done an angle cut had black and yellow but that's just me but i really think you could do some cool things with this if you were to like get something like the mod store not the monster, the mega store or something like that, and just put that in there, and then you could actually just have 
some really cool chassis and tires and whatnot, and I think it would look really, really, uh, really cool, to be honest. But there you go. It's a, it's a nice, cool skin for man, and it was definitely a pretty well done. Uh, simple, but good. You know, can't argue that. Our next one is for the Scania R. Uh, let's see, we had one, two, three. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's down here. Ta-da! Malmbergs. Now, I don't know, again, if this is a company skin just because of the name. But even if it's not, I love the abstractness of it, of course. Um, you can see it has the name up top, which makes me think this is a company skin. This is Malmbergs up top. But again, it's another really simple skin. Um, again, purple... Uh, which is, <laughs> seems to be becoming another running color theme for this one. With a light blue, almost white, curling fire. And I really love the look of it. Uh, it almost looks like it's coming straight off the front and then curling around the window and then back up. And, of course, you get the fire going up in the light box and then cutting up over the top here. Like I said, the very top here is just straight purple with the Malmbergs up there. And then you actually have this little ram portrait uh, up on the um, top of the sides here, and then the black is just a uh, back is just flat purple, and then it, you have this the same color here on the side skirts. I personally would have gone with purple on the side skirts, but that's my own personal opinion. And you can see it's purple here on the fenders. So um, yeah, it looks really sweet. I really like the look of it. I think it looks really cool, and um, if you're looking for something a little more different and out of the ordinary, but still looking like really classy and maybe a little bit like badass coolness, then this is definitely an awesome skin for you. Our next one is definitely a de uh, company skin, and I believe it is for the Aveco Highway. Yes, it is. Here we go. Um, Ital Trans. That's right, Ital Trans. I had to relook at the skin. It's like, uh, wait a minute, what? Um, if I see a company skin that actually looks really cool, I will showcase it, and I really think this looks really cool. Um, you can see it's got the company logo all over it, and I, it's even got 371, so it's like the number of the truck. And um, I'm just double-checking, make sure that's part of the truck. And then on, the here, on, on here, of course, you have the logo where it cuts across. And then the sweeping up uh, colors of the company here. And then Atal Trans again up top. And in the front, over on the driver's side corner with the stripes that come across, you see you even got a little bit of painting down in here in the grill. And then uh, blue down in here framing the white. Same on the other side. I really like the skirts, the way they're done. Uh, and, of course, on the back, I just got to see real quick, yeah. It does, the Aveco is part of this, but as you can see, the guy actually striped the Aveco over among all this white, uh, white, white, in the colors of the um, company here. Uh, and then, of course, the colors going down, light blue, medium blue, dark blue. Uh, it's a really nice skin. And, you know, it's, again, one of those things, if you want to feel like you're working for a company, if you want to... Bring that little bit of extra realism into your game. This is, uh, and you're, you're an Aveco driver, uh, and I know you're out there. Don't be ashamed to admit it. I know that I don't rate Aveco very high, but that again, I'm gonna, I, as I'm gonna state, that doesn't mean it's a bad truck. I really feel like there's very, very few things. There are very, very few bad trucks in the world, to be honest. Uh, and I really feel that Aveco is not a bad truck. It's just a, compared to some of the things it's up against, it doesn't show as well as uh, uh, it really should, I think. I don't know how else to explain it, but... Atal Trans, definitely. Uh, if you're a Veco driver, if you're a Veco highway driver, rather, um, take a look at it, especially if you're looking to look like you drive for a company and you want a really nice, clean-looking, colorful, but not overly busy company skin. And our final skin for this round is, of course, the Scania R. And this is Sons of Anarchy. Now, you remember the last, uh, not last, but a couple uh, episodes back, I actually did a Sons of Anarchy skin, and it was uh, very basic. 
It just kind of had the symbols it, when it was done in black. Well, this one's much different. Uh, it's a lot busier. Uh, it's got a lot more to show for it. As you can see, I'm not sure who this is. I honestly never watched the show. But you can see it's got somebody, you know, standing here with their back with the Sons of Anarchy flag flying. Uh, that's being the, uh, the jacket. And then Sons of Anarchy curving along here in the symbol. And, of course, you got the bike here. You got the big chopper on the skirts, which I really like this because, again, it fits right in between the V8 and the spacing here on this side. Um, so that's a really nice fit. It looks really cool. Um, and then down here you have the Sons of Anarchy abbreviation. Well, it looks like a sticker almost like peeling off. On the back you have the big Sons of Anarchy logo. Uh, looking really nice, and you have a kind of faded off American flag right up in this top area. That's a really nice touch. That's a really, really sweet touch on the back of the truck. And on the side, you do have the same kind of chopper, but it's a little different as you can see. Actually, it's a lot different. It's a completely different chopper. My bad. I thought it was the same, but it's not. Now that I'm taking a little bit closer look at it, it's very different. So you have a different chopper on the side, and actually I can see why. Again, this shows thought put into this rather than just slapping it up. This chopper, um, a little bit shorter, fits into between the V8 sign and this chrome uh, area right here rather than putting in uh, what looks to be a longer chopper that's just going to get cut off. So that's really nice here. And of course, this side's the same. The top is just uh, the continuing color of the truck, the brown and uh, with black background. The front is all done up in black, and you can see here you got the little Sons of Anarchy skulls on the side intakes, and then right up top, Sons of Anarchy in the light box with a little bit of, with the uh, little bit with the American flag uh, background. This is a skin that could be really easily overly busy, but isn't. It's really well done, really thought out, and with a little couple nice touches like the skulls up on the intakes and the little Sons of Anarchy stickers uh, that look like they're peeling off on the sides. The two different choppers fitting in beautifully into their space rather than just slapping something up. And I really love the touch on the back with the big logo and taking up three quarters of the bottom. Then you got the last one quarter as the faded American flag. Really, really nice, well done skin for a pretty cool truck so that's it for these five skins um i gotta say i'm having an issue with one skin even though i'm turning it on uh i haven't had it come through yet so i don't know if it's going to come through only uh time will tell so it'll either be with the next batch of skins or I will try and do it individually and if it works individually great if it doesn't well I will let you know but until then let's just transition over to our next skins all right folks and we are back with our final set of skins yes this is final the skin I was talking about that I was trying to get to work that's actually for a modded in truck the Scania 50k uh, I've never heard of it before, but I went and I looked it up because I saw the, you know, the guy said skin for the Scania 50K. And uh, it is a modded in truck. And uh, as far as I can tell, it really doesn't have any other skins, or at least they're so outdated, they're not showing up. So for now, I don't have that truck. So I'm not going to be able to showcase the skin. And the other skin, um, I'm going to link... But in short, it's kind of the same thing as one that I have. And showing them both would be a little bit on the recoculous side. Ridiculous. So I'm not going to showcase that one. I'm just going to mention it. And then I will link it with the other one in the section down below. Okay? In the description, rather. So, of course, we always start off with our big Volvo FH. And the first one is simply named Snake. And you can see why. Uh, not a bad skin. Of course, the Snake uh, here... Uh, looks like like a big blood splatter but, uh, bite right there. Uh, snake does get cut off a little bit by the window, but otherwise it actually still looks pretty cool. And then down bottom, they tried to replicate down here the same thing, but uh, the head, they really should have moved it back here. Because um, again, this is that, you know, just slapping it on kind of feel where the hole interferes with the painting. But you get a nice snake bite here. And then on the back is... Uh, a truly terrifying look of a snake here. Um, 
with the big red fangs open and you see the scales and the jaw and all that. And actually the tongue running down here almost seems to continue on into the wires here in the back. And of course the two sides are the same, same. Um, the blood hole in the snake and whatnot. And then up top it's just the green and then of course the green on the front. It's not a bad skin, especially, you know, you're going with a lime uh, green on it. Almost kind of like a knee. No, neon's a little too much. But yeah, more like a lime green on it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm, I, I'm trying to think of another way to put it. But, you know, if you like snakes or, you know, you think this snake looks cool, then go for it, definitely. But uh, otherwise, you know, it's a good skin. And I say give it a whirl. Uh, no reason not to. This one I almost missed. It's all, all the way down the bottom. 2014, Year of the Horse. Which, of course, this is the Year of the Horse. And as you see here, it says Year of, year of the Horse across here. And I love the water effect horse here. Uh, it looks really nice. And, of course, on the blue, and you, even you can see white uh, and then white splash background. I'm not sure what this means. Maybe it's maybe it says horse. I don't I have no idea what it actually says. Uh, but you know there is a Chinese writing on the side, and then on the back here it says 2014 year of the horse right in the center with the symbol here again as you can see. And then the front is plain, and then the top is plain. If you were born in the year of the horse, this is your year, and this is your skin. If you're driving the Volvo FH, I'd say give it a run, man. You know, show off, show off your colors. Be proud to be a horse. It's definitely a very noble creature, and not something to shy away from. Do I believe in um, astrology and things like that? To some degree, um, you know. Personally, I'm not going to lie to you. I am born under the uh, year of the ox, and I do actually have a, um, a zodiac animal ox sitting on top of my computer because it's my symbol. Um, it's kind of weird because I only believe so far into it, but I believe into it to a degree nonetheless. So I proudly display it. And that's that. Our next ones are for the Scania R. Of course. This is Green Smoke. And as you can see, it actually looks more blue. I think the person that created these... Uh, might have mislabeled them because there's one called green smoke and one called blue smoke. The blue smoke looks green, the green smoke looks blue. So I think he may have mislabeled them. And they both kind of look generally the same. They're both under the same premises. Uh, a colored smoke on a black background as you're seeing here. So, you know, and it, it even it continues over the whole truck. The side skirts, the back, the top, and as you can see here, it even comes back into the fenders. So I think it looks really, 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 really cool. And I would definitely look into it uh, if you're looking for something that's off the Y, basically. And, uh, you know, I think this would actually make for some cool screenshots, if I'm to be completely honest with you. But, anywho, next skin. This one is called Wei Yang. And I l personally love this skin. I really do. Um, I'm not sure what the K down on the bottom is for. Perhaps that's the creator's mark, which would be fine. Uh, I'm going to assume this is Wei Yang. Uh, he's got some really long arms. Uh, very thin, very bird-like looking, but it still looks very elegant. And then you can see the elegant uh, pen strokes here. Almost, you know, looking like flowers blooming on the sides. This is Wei Yang in the front. And then, you know, it looks really nice down here, uh, the way it's done with the curving uh, here and then down here. And the two sides are the same, as you can see. And then the side skirts, they just look beautiful. And on the back, you have this extremely beautiful and detailed... I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm just going to call it a picture. But... It looks absolutely amazing. And the top here, you can see it kind of brushes up on one side and fades out, which I think is really nice. I've never seen a skin like it. I have honestly never seen a skin like it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's extremely 
elegant. And I actually read real quick um, the community, the the uh, you know the what, what the guy was going for, but now I forget, and I really, really, really apologize for that. Um, but at the very least, I can sit here and say, man, you made a beautiful skin. And I would recommend it to anybody who drives a Scania. I finally want... Finally want <laughs> Our final one is Lapin Critters, or Cretans, as it is, Invasion. The Lapin Cretans Invasion. Uh, I know in general who they are, but I never really got into them. But I think it's a really funny skin because it puts them up on the side of the truck. And you can see down here on the side skirts, uh, looking like he has a plunger and this guy spatula and a, uh, looks like a ladle or spoon. And this guy looks like he's running off here. And the same here and the two guys there. The top and the front, unfortunately, are not utilized, which is kind of depressing. And then, of course, the two sides are same, same. And then on the back, as you saw, it says Lappins, the Lappins Cretans Invasion. So it's a nice, simple skin. I think it's, you know, it would be cool to drive around just for fun and just to be funny. Uh, but like I said, sadly, does not take uh, advantage of the light box here, which would be really cool to put this in a much smaller version up here and then maybe do something with the top as well. A uh, little bit of a missed opportunity there, but nonetheless, a very nice skin and very well done. Pardon me. Um, our next one is actually for the Mercedes. There was two, three, four, five. I think this is the last one. And it's down here. Otello Lewis Royal. I don't know who that is. I just know this is a cool skin. Now, yes, it does go into... It, it, it almost kind of looks like a. Uh, these come from books, if I'm to be honest. Sci-fi fantasy books. And, of course, they put the, the, you know, the pretty girls on the sides of your truck, as you can see here. I'll just spin it around real quick. On this one, it looks like futuristic sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, uh, dystopian world. Uh, and you, of course, you have the girl decked out in the black leather with the futuristic, but not quite futuristic gun with the long, uh, uh, ponytail going down the back and the mask. Uh, it's really a nice effect, actually, and, uh, I think it just looks really cool. And then the side skirt here, uh, you can see the girl looking down. And if I'm to be honest, out of all this, the the girls that does put on your truck, this is the only one that actually looks kind of meek, if I'm to be truthful. You know, she's not dressed as a warrior, and she's looking down in a way. She, she almost looks like the maiden. And up here you have the warrior girl in the back with her sword. It almost looks like she was either knocked down or she's just getting up. Uh, but either way, she's dressed in, of course... We all know the extremely effective bikini male that women warriors wear that protected them oh so well in fights. Yeah, but, well, you know, sci-fi fantasy. Um, but, you know, she's got her sword, and it's an interesting background for sure, and I actually think it's a really nice picture. Um, <clears throat> kind of a little low-res uh, in my eyes, but not so much that, like, if you're looking at it from back here... Uh, which is where most of the time you'll actually be looking at it from, if you can see it at all around the trailer. Um, it looks really good. And on this side here, again, we're going extremely futuristic, um, looking like uh, you know space exploration. And, of course, we have the girl with what kind of looks like some kind of a leather jacket, almost like owl-like creatures It's looking like around her. Yeah, there's definitely owls around her. Um... Is that what... Yeah, it is. <clears throat> okay. At least I'm pretty sure it is. But, um... Again, looking like a... You know, a more powerful, assertive woman, if I'm to be honest. Um... 
despite well, the fact of what may be going on. She looks like she may be more of a warrior like the other two women on here. And then down the bottom here, you could also see it says Louis Royal. And you can see a bit of a picture of a woman in the background, although we can't tell much about her. And then, of course, on the front, um, to me, this is kind of where things go a little bit awry. Because the effect of putting the eyes there is actually kind of cool. But I can't help at this point seeing my truck going, hoi, 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 hoi. <laughs> Seriously, I can't. <laughs> you know, here's the eyes. And you can choose this one here as the smile. Or you can choose this down here as the smile. And the truck's going, hoi, 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 hoi. You know, I just can't help it, but, you know, turn to the side a little bit, you know, you can you can get the effect. I probably wouldn't have gone with this personally. I mean, I know kind of what you're going for, but to me it doesn't look right. Maybe they have a mod I really didn't look that allows all of this to be painted and closed in so that you can see the whole picture. But most people aren't going to have that, so that's what the front's going to be like. But, again, keeping in mind, this is a skin from Mercedes. It's extremely... Uh, you know, it, it definitely pushes the badass side of things. And, of course, it puts some fairly pretty women on your truck to look at if you're driving outside the truck, which a lot of people do from time to time. So, I'm not going to snub it because the front looks a little bit funny in my eyes. Um, Mercedes usually doesn't get a lot of love. This week has kind of been an exception for that. So, I would definitely look into this... Uh, Luis Royal skin if you're looking for something a little more badass on the Mercedes side. And I'm pretty sure that's it for our skins. There's nothing for the Renaults. I did the Scanias, and I don't think we have anything for the Iveco. No. So that's it. Alright folks, so that's going to be me done for this one. I know I only showcased, I said there was 18, and I actually did uh, 16. But... Again, one of them is going to be linked. You saw the quote-unquote blue smoke, uh, or green smoke, rather. The that the uh, blue smoke one will be linked under it. And there are actually uh, versions for the Scania, and I believe either Iveco or Mercedes on both of them. So I will probably link the Scania one here, and then maybe like the other, other truck on the other one. But if you want the skin for, like if you want the blue smoke for Scania, then all you have to do is just type in blue smoke and it'll show you the skin. So just go ahead and do that. But otherwise, that's going to be me done for these episodes, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the skin showcase as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. This is, uh, oh, oh, I'm skipping ahead. If you could leave a comment, rate, and or subscribe down below, that would be amazingly awesome. But until then, this is going to be one big bugger signing out. I'll see you on the road.